Hey everyone, this is uh, Tommy. I'm gonna show you how to change out these Trash XT60 connectors to new IC3 battery connectors. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the heat shrink from the ends right here, just to have an X-Acto knife. Just cut it away. Just to expose these ends. Okay, now that we have the ends exposed, you can see the existing soldering that's in there. What we're gonna do to remove these so we don't have to cut any excess wire off and then cut the old, or cut more casing off of this existing wiring that we have here, we're just gonna take our soldering gun here. We have a, it's $30 at O'Reilly's for a performance tool soldering gun with exchangeable tips. So when these burn out, go on Amazon, get a two pack for $12, put them back on it, but it comes with two. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna take this negative one first. Pull the trigger when the light's on, it's engaged. We're just gonna hold it up to it. Takes a few seconds, it's gonna heat up the whole connector and the wire at the same time to undo that soldering. Start to see the solder here become liquid again. It's gonna take a minute. Just like that. Old wire with soldering comes out. Careful, it gets very hot. Very quick. Now we're gonna flip this one over and get started on it next. I'm gonna hold the end because it is getting a little toasty. Same step as before. Just constant pressure in the same area with the trigger pull. Depending on which device you have, if you have just a regular soldering iron, just pull it, plug it in. This has the trigger, it's instant, just like that. The old connector's out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the next connector, the new IC3, which, let me see here, there's the part number. Put all of those out there. An the average price of it at our local hobby store. You can buy them online. It's through Spectrum, Horizon Hobby. Comes in a two-pack. Comes with new sleeves and the new end pieces. Make sure you get the proper female or male connectors for batteries because it's going to plug into your ESC. Your ESC stands for Electronic Speed Control. That's what controls everything. It's the heart of the RC. If you get the wrong connectors, you'll have two females. If you get the other wrong connectors, you'll have two males. You have to have one male and one female. Just don't get them confused. Put one on or the other. So we're going to start out, and each one of these are labeled. This side's positive, you can see the plus mark right there. Flip it over to the other side, this side's negative. So you gotta make sure that you have those correct. Now what we're gonna need when you solder, you need your soldering iron. You also need solder itself. Okay, cheap toolbox here. Some solder, and you're also gonna need flux. Flux is what the solder will bind with on the wire or whatever surface that you're putting it on. So make sure you put a dab of either we have Liquid flux just has a little paintbrush end. You can dab it on there, or if you want, you can use paste. Paste is a little bit more of a control, plus it soaks in better in my opinion. So I'm gonna use paste for this. Just take a little bit on your finger. Just rub it on the inside of that connector. Not too, too much, but enough. If you cake too much in, it won't have anywhere to go. But what's gonna happen is when we heat up this solder, it's gonna connect between, or it's gonna allow that soldering, the solder itself to flow into the connector and fill this cavity and allow it to bond with that wire as good as it can. So now that we have that done, we're gonna start with the positive. Positive has this square end on it. It's not round, the negative is usually round on these. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold this with these pliers. Assistant. Perfect. I'm going to try to position this so that I don't have to hold it, but it'll hold itself stationary inside of the connector. Make sure your ends are clean and there's no debris. Okay, so just like this. 
Now I'm not gonna push the wire into the end connector. I'm just gonna leave a little bit of a gap. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do next, take the soldering iron here, get your solder prepped. I always pull a little bit out of it like this, depending on what kind you get. It could just be a spool, but this is spooled up inside of here. I'll just put it behind my hand like that. So there's still existing solder on this wire from when we took off the old connector, but I'm gonna freshen it up with some new stuff. So what we're gonna do, with the pliers holding this still, not too much pressure, just put the soldering iron on the end, heat this wire up nice, you will start to see the flux inside bubbling. When that flux starts to bubble, we're gonna then add in this solder. And be careful, all of this stuff is very, very hot. You can hear it bubble, and then usually by that time, you're good to add new solder. And what's gonna happen with that flux that we added in earlier, it's gonna suck in all that solder into the empty points making for a nice clean connection, just like this. We're gonna give it a second to cool down. And if you actually, if this was, if you could zoom in further on here, you can see the, the solder actually suck inside of this connector and create a nice even coating on it. So now, here's the end product. So there, there you go, there's your easy step on how to just do the other side the exact same way slide your covers on and that's that this is tommy from rtrc bringing you easy steps on how to solder at home